Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be taking a look at CMU 1.11.5's performance and comparing it to CMU 1.11.4, its previous version. All of the tests you are about to see were carried out on freshly compiled shaders. Both of these tests are also using the disable pre-compiled shader cache feature. Using this feature gives me the best possible performance as it removes 100% of shader related stutter and both runs are also done using the profile edit accurate shader model equals min. Okay, let's jump straight across to my first benchmark scene, Hateno Village. Okay, so straight away you can clearly see that CMU 1.11.5 already has much, much better performance than CMU 1.11.4. Once again, I must point out that in all of these benchmark runs, I am using GX2 Draw Done, the feature that enables more accurate emulation, but at the cost of performance. The only graphics packs that I have active are FPS++, a 1080p resolution graphics pack, my own personal realistic clarity preset, and I am also using the BSOD framerate unlocker, which allows me to push past the 60fps frame limit. 1.11.5 wins the performance crown in this scene, let's move along to our Kakariko run. As we saw in the previous benchmark scene, CMU 1.11.5 is absolutely destroying its predecessor. Something I have noticed quite a lot in 1.11.5 is the fact that in open world areas, not inside of towns, performance in 1.11.5 is absolute miles ahead of 1.11.4. At the end of this Kakariko scene, you are going to see me run out of the town into the open world, I'm just going to speed the footage up so you can see the actual performance variance between the two versions. So straight away, as you can see, once we leave the town, our performance in 1.11.5, and you must remember that GX2 Drawdown is turned on in this circumstance, absolutely skyrockets. Now, not only is 1.11.5 maintaining a much higher frame rate, it is also maintaining a much better frame time and has much, much better frame rate stability. Let's quickly move across to our next scene, Zora's Domain. So, I think at this point you are seeing a trend with performance. CMU 1.11.5 is absolutely destroying 1.11.4 in basically every single use case. Not only is it destroying it performance wise, it is also using less RAM and also in my testing, compile times both when using pre-compiled, GL cache or any form of shader, it is in fact compiling those shader caches between 20 and 25% faster. Even though in my committed memory tests my usage only went down by about half a gigabyte, it is still quite nice to see these improvements from version to version. Let's swap over to our second to last benchmark scene, Luralin Village. As I have stated in previous versions and comparison videos just like this one, I like to use Luralin Village as a benchmark scene as it has a nice blend of open world elements but also is quite a nice small village containing lots and lots of NPCs, lots and lots of rendered torches, fires and smoke effects, and it gives you a fairly good example of what your performance is going to be like the majority of time out in the open world. In my final test scene, we are going to be taking a look at the performance on the Great Plateau when moving from the Shrine of Resurrection all the way down to in front of the Temple of Time. The reason I have included this area in my benchmark runs is that the Great Plateau is one of the most performance hogging areas in the entire game. It was in fact in this scene that 1.11.4 and 1.11.5 actually drew close to each other in their average FPS as you can see on screen right now. However, CMU 1.11.5 still is going to take the performance crown as in all of these benchmark tests we have seen so far, it absolutely destroys its predecessor 1.11.4. In NPC crowded areas like Hateno, Kakariko and Zora's Domain, we saw performance differences between the two versions of between 5, 6 and 8 FPS on average and in the open world areas that we visited, we saw performance deltas of between 15 to 18 FPS. This is one of the biggest performance differences we have seen between CMU versions in quite some time and if for some reason you did not upgrade from 1.11.3 or any older versions to 1.11.4, this truly is a very good time for you to update CMU versions. My full setup guide will be released in the next day so keep an eye out for that on the channel. At the end of this video, as usual, I want to give a massive thank you to all of the new and old patrons on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. 
If you wish to help support the channel, get your name featured on this list as well as a host of other benefits over on the BSOD Gaming Discord, you can find a link for this Patreon down in the video description. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.